up you guys, Nicole Dreams here and today I'll be showing you how to install one of my vocal preset kits whether you download it or purchase some from my site and if you have I just want to say thank you and I'm trying something new so thank you for your support and I just wanted to go into more detail on how to install the preset for some of you guys who may not know how to and make sure that you get up everything set up properly so first uh, I have a project here and this is like sort of a standard I use I I'll usually have like more inserts here and stuff but today I go to file to get this preset I go to file new from template and empty with four sins and then you'll get the same exact project like me now here I have the Bryce and Tiller uh, preset um, for you guys and it has the ad-libs, main vocals, you know the template that already has the um, ad-libs and main vocals dra dragged and dropped as well as the sins already sent. And here are the sins that you can do like over here if you want to start your own new project and if you don't see the sends on the right all you have to do is left click over here this little bar now to get started I may or may not have plugins in the folder sometimes like I might include like um spitfish or like I don't know a free plugin that'll help you guys with the recording and vocal presets so first thing first you're gonna wanna like you want to set your tempo when you do record before you record and everything and then I already have my vocals and the beat dragged in so I'm going to drag and drop the vocals at lip 4 and I'm just left clicking hold and drag and the main vocals will go to 3 now since I have everything in here, I'm going to route everything. So the B is 2, the main vocals is 3, ad libs are 4. Now I'm going to play you, you know, everything without the effects and all that So. Okay. Yeah, not the best, but you know that's what that's what the you know effects and stuff are for to make it sound great. And I think not everything is you know stock plugins. You know, like I said, um. I'll have this fixed so this won't be in there when you drag and drop it. You'll just have the separate sins. So I'm gonna take these off. Alright, since I have everything dragged and dropped, I'm going to enable these back on and I'm going to go into picture. Now, personally, I recommend, you know, um, auto-tune Evo or Waves Real-Time, Waves Tune Real-Time, either of those. If not, you know, uh, change the plugins to work to what works for you, you know, but for now, like, unless stated otherwise all the presets will be um, FO Studio stock or Waves plugin so I'm going to set the key the key is B minor and we'll do it for both then turn this down some and in the preset folder I also have the 
the send you know the percentage amounts when you like hold and drag it so you can see in the upper left hand corner at the top so if you just open that you know it'll tell you like the main vocals has a delay of 23% reverb chorus and I'll show you that real quick so you want to open the preset send and you're gonna like 16 Drag, drop the chorus. I'm gonna go to the main vocals and open this back up. And the main vocals has a chorus of 23%. I'm gonna right click, side chain, and drag this to 23. And we should be good. And that's all you gotta do. And do that for the ad-libs and the rest of the main vocals and the uh, presets. Like I said here, you don't necessarily have to use the given percentages, just use what sounds sonically right to you. So now that's that done, I want to play it and it's what you should get. And I'm just going to play it for you guys. Okay. Now, that's all you guys have to, to do to it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave any, um feedback comments like subscribe notification it's actually like my first time doing like actual videos and i'm working on getting like a face cam you know for the moment i just might have to end up using my phone somehow i'll figure it out but other than that go make some dope records see you guys later